Hello everybody. So yesterday, I spent the day on the lawnmower. I was out back in the auger graveyard. I was mowing around everything. And then Neva and I dug a cremation grave at like nine o'clock at night and we had zero issues. Cool, it's not nice to lie to people. Neva, you went over to the grave that was haunted and it's reported if you go over there, something happens to the vehicle you have there and something happened to every single piece. Of, well, I guess nothing happened to the truck but we had skid loader issues. So anyway, we're gonna watch Neva take out the trash and we gotta unload some stuff. Go get the lawnmower. I need to mow the lawn again. Correction, you're gonna watch me and Cole take out the trash. You got it here, I'll take the camera. You got it, you got it. This is all my trash for the month. That's yesterday's trash for Neva. <coughs> oh, that smells so bad. I was holding my breath. A... <laughs> Don't send it into me. I don't know, it's chasing you down. They smell fear, so don't run away from it. Well, what am I supposed to, are we supposed to both get stung? We haven't showed the bends for a couple days. Just because we've been off doing other things, the bend guys have been doing their thing. So this is the first bend. This one is done. At least the outer shell is done. They still have to build the floor, get electrical, and get all the catwalks and everything hooked up to it yet. But there she is. 17 rings. This is an AGI bend. What I mean by 17 ring is... From here down, there's a 34 inch sheet, so it goes a ring all the way around. So there's one here, one here, one here. There's 17 of them. And then we have external stiffeners here on the outside. This allows us to use a thinner walled sheet. Otherwise, these bottom ones are like 300 pounds a piece, and they're like 3 eighths of an inch thick, and they're a real bear cat. And if we look up at the top, we see those pipes that are going around. So those are what's called a wind ring. And that does exactly what it sounds like. It stops the wind from kind of crumpling it in at the top, or in theory. So. I think these are rated for like 110 mile an hour sustainable wind. So if a really big wind comes, they don't stand much of a chance. If they're full of corn or beans, they stand a lot more of a chance, but still pretty amazing that they can withstand winds up to 100 miles an hour. Go, go! <laughs> That's cool. Another really cool feature about this bin, see this platform up above me here? This is what we call a side draw. So we'll be able to empty maybe about half the bin or so without ever having to turn on any electricity. You just climb that ladder, get up there, you turn a little slide gate, and then your semi's here and it'll just come out of a chute and you can fill it that way. So we've never had anything like that before. We've either had to grain vac a bin out or you suck it through the augers in the bottom of the floor. So just kind of a neat little feature. So this is what we call a baby bin right now. Oh boy. They just have the roof built and then two rings up. So they're getting everything fastened together here. This is the longest part of building a bin. This process right here probably takes these guys about three days. Now if we look right here, we have a big old pile of sheets and there's a couple more piles behind me. Those are actually the walls of the bin. So all the sheets are in the bin already. And then we have these yellow jacks here. So what they're gonna do, they just bolt them right to the bin. They turn them on, it lifts the bin up. They're able to put another ring on, get everything bolted together. They set the bin back down on the ground. They readjust the jacks down one more notch. They lift it back up. They keep doing that every day until the bend's done. They can put on four rings in a good day, six rings in a really good day, and two rings on a bad day. So there's a fan in there. It's like a power vent in your attic. So if it gets too humid in the top space, if the sure track senses that, it actually connects to the weather app. And then if it's within certain parameters, it'll actually automatically kick on the fan. So just like your attic does, if it gets too stuffy up there, the bend's gonna do the same thing, which is gonna help her grain quality. That is cool. Like if I were to trip right here, I would fall over that railing versus if the railing was taller right here at the end, you know, then if you fell, you would hit the railing. I see. So on bins in the past, when we built stairs like this, we put an extension right here so that we had a, another higher railing. Then once you're down here, you're fine. I don't even know where to begin. I got back from the Farm Progress Show eight days ago and I have not picked up the camera since because when I got back, the Neva started not feeling well. So I, I was taking care of her and then it was like I got hit by a train. I was just tired. Normally I sleep about six hours a night, but for the last eight days, I've been getting like 14 hours of sleep a day. So I've been getting some nice recharge. 
I feel really good now. I don't like being cooped up in the house, so I have been able to spend a fair amount of time with my Kentucky bluegrass. I was able to dethatch it the other day, so we got all that dead stuff that's on top. I do need to spray it yet for broadleaf. As we can see, we've got some nice ugly weeds. If we look close, we can see my crabgrass is starting to die. I'm trying to get it down to about two inches tall, so that way we can encourage this to spread out and get thicker. I planted this a year ago today, actually. Overall, it's looking pretty good. We do have a little bit of some weed areas, these little pocket patch things that you see, those are weeds. But overall, that is looking really nice. It's starting to get really thick. There are some random areas throughout like this. There's actually tree roots still under here because there used to be a bunch of trees in my front yard. So nothing's been able to grow on top of those yet. I should probably get some dirt in these. I could get them seeded. And for some reason right here, I have this dead spot. But otherwise, once this crabgrass stuff's all gone and out of here, but I guess the good news is while I was gone, they uh, they got the bends up. <laughs> oh, those are so big. So there we go, 120,000 bushels or 120 semis and uh, 120 semis. They do still need to put the doors in them. Oh boy, that's muddy. And then they have to put the floors and the fans and the temperature cables. So they're probably only about 90% done, I would say. But they have all the outside stuff done. Really all that's left is they need to get these catwalks set above these things. But before they can do that, they need to get the legs set up. And oh yeah, I forgot. They also built the overhead bend. But before they can set this up, they've been doing some welding here. They actually built this whole platform. Wade and his guys have also been out. They've been running in conduit while this is on the ground. So that way they don't have to do it when they're 70 feet in the air. And also while it's on the ground here, the welding guys have been painting everything that they fabricate it up here so it'll be silver like that so that way it won't rust they're hoping within the next few days to get the rest of the welding done here i know they have a few more braces that they need to put together but then once they get that set up there is still a lot of work to be done because the catwalk stuff that's going to be running above me here that takes a while to get set in with the crane then we got all the conduit and everything that needs to be ran on that so wade's kind of got his work cut out for him justin has been out here this week as well He's got this tin for us. Wade's got his gutter on. So these lines are actually gonna be buried under dirt so we won't see them down the road here. But wire's gonna run into this gutter through those conduits. And this is basically what's gonna run all our auxiliary power for everything through here. Justin also tossed a moisture barrier on here. And then he's got the windows in, the doors in. We still need to get door handles. I don't know if you guys can see in there or not, but Wade's got the $63,000 electrical panel up. Stuff's moving. We're probably gonna need this in about a month, four weeks. <laughs> we have a lot of work left to do. Okay, okay, I made you guys wait long enough. Here's the story with dad. So dad has been in the hospital for eight days now. He's absolutely going nuts, it's stir crazy. He called me the other day, he was like, yeah, I sat on the back of my couch just staring out the window for a few hours. But, so dad, if you don't know, he has pneumonia and he has Rona and he's having fluid build up in his lungs. It's basically just causing his oxygen to be lower than it should. He's been running at like 88% by himself, which I guess below 90 is not good. So they've been trying some different medicines and stuff, just trying to break up the stuff in his lungs. He said he's been kind of spitting up some stuff every now and again. So he, he feels good. He sounds like his normal self. He looks like a normal self. It's just when they take the oxygen off of him, he, his oxygen levels drop. I guess they did sneak him outside a little bit today for like 10 minutes. He, he was so thankful for that. He was just, he was smiling from ear to ear just cause he gotta go outside for a few minutes. So we keep praying for dad that he'll get out of the hospital here. And there's a lot of stuff going on in the farm. Cooper's been a big lifesaver. He's been running around getting a bunch of stuff ready for harvest. I've been in the house getting stuff ready with the bookwork and stuff. So we've been still moving along here on the farm. Dad just, you know, he, he wants to be a part of it. So that's kind of the story with dad. Mom, she also does not feel very well. She's been at home. She's actually took 20 days off of work due to not feeling good. Today was her first day back. So she's on the better now too. And just kind of all ready to kind of get through this crowd a little bit. Neva's starting to feel better too though. She, she'll have a really good day. And then the next day she just feels down on energy, but we can all breathe okay. We feel good, just kind of maybe a little achy. So we're all getting along. We really appreciate everybody's comments and concerns and prayers and everything you've been doing for us. We've had a lot of people offer help. We really appreciate it. 
So that's kind of where everyone that's in the family. That's where the bin side's at. That's where the yard's at. That's where we're at with the farm stuff. Should be continuing back to regular videos here soon. Just kind of something we had to get through. But that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.